Hello, and welcome again to Countdown Knife. This is the first time you've joined us. Don't worry, because, as the executioner said to his apprentice, you will soon get the hang of it. Anyway, this is a game all about words and figures, and I'll explain the rules to you as we go along. First, though, we welcome back our incumbent champion, Michael Goldman. Now, he's a solicitor from London. He won yesterday's programme with an impressive display of word power, which included the word orioles, which means a kind of bird, and another word, minaret, which some people thought was a kind of dance. But you didn't, did you, Ted Moult? Oh, no. I'm sorry some people got it wrong. Uh, most people know a minaret is a tower by a mosque where the muezzin calls the faithful to prayer. I was thinking in the world of Islam, since they don't have churches, what is the equivalent of a church Could it be a mosque rat? Well, I don't know. Anyway, my function here is to make sure the words which emerge are valid. Here is my minder or finder, Mary, uh, and she will look up the words. And if the words don't occur in our dictionary, for all intents and purposes, uh, for the game, they don't exist. OK, so there you have uh, Ted and his finder. They are the judge and jury as far as this game is concerned. So now meet our new challenger tonight. She's here uh, hoping to knock Michael Goldman out, out of the game. Welcome Maureen Barr. She comes, uh, comes from a little village called Helsby, which is near Chester. She's a stalwart of the WI there. She used to work in a lab uh, before she got married, but now she's a part-time tea lady. So obviously she's not one of the coffee bars. So welcome to you, Maureen. Now what we have to do, I'm going to ask the contestants to choose nine letters at random, but they have to say either a consonant or a vowel. And when they choose their letter, uh, it'll be put up on the board there by Cathy Heitner, our hostess. And then after that, they've got 30 seconds to make a word. And the person who gets the longer correct word wins the point. So what could be simpler than that? You, of course, will see the words on your screen, so we hope that you will join in as well. Now, we had a toss-up before the programme came on the air, and Maureen won. So, Maureen, would you now kick off the game by choosing your nine letters? I'll have a consonant, please. And we start with an N. And a vowel. E. Another consonant. Y. A vowel. O. Another consonant. D. Another consonant. L. Um, a vowel. And an E. A consonant. And lastly. And um, a vowel. And we finish with an I. So, those are the nine letters. We want uh, a long, long word out of that, and we've got 30 seconds to do it. The countdown starts now. And that's it. Now, what I do now is to ask each contestant how many letters in their word and see who's got uh, more. So, uh, Maureen, how many in yours? Six. Six, Michael? Six. You've both got six, so let's hear them both. Maureen? Fondly. Fondly. Oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? Yes. And uh, Michael? Felony. Felony. OK. Well, there's no crime in that. That's uh, jolly good. So that's six points each to you. So that's uh, a good start for both of you. Put you uh, each firmly and squarely on the winning on the winning trail there. So now we go to another letters game, uh, round two, and Michael, this time it's your turn to start. Vowel. Start with an E. Consonant. S. Vowel. U. Consonant. V. Vowel. I. Consonant. T. Vowel. A. Consonant. N. Vowel. And you. Right, well, those are the letters. The time is 30 seconds, and that time starts now.
Well, it goes very quickly this time, doesn't it? Uh, Michael, how many in your word? Seven. Seven. Um, six. And you're six, so let's say yours, Michael. Natives. Natives. Mm -hmm. N-A-T-I-V-E-S. Yes. Very good. We can't quibble with natives, Ted, can we? Oh, no. Natives is good, especially if you're born there. I got a yodel last time, which was appropriate to natives of Switzerland. Well, that's yodel. useless information, isn't it? Yes, I thought I was going to have yodel for the last one, but uh, I thought well, I might have to be called upon to do it, so I thought I wouldn't. Right, end of round two. Michael there on 13 and Maureen on six. Now, Maureen, your turn to start. Nine letters, please. A consonant, please. T. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. A. A consonant. M. A consonant. W. A vowel. I. Another consonant. N. Another consonant. S. And a vowel. There we go. Let's start the clock. The stock. The clock starts now. Time's up. Now then, Maureen, how many letters? Only five. Only five? Uh -huh. Five. You've got five as well, so let's say them both. Maureen? Moans. Moans? Yes. M-O-A-N-S. -S. -S. Yes, and yours, Michael? Woman. Woman. <laughs> Actually, there were lots of, uh, lots of words there, weren't there, Ted? Moans, woman. Well, Mary and I, we had twins. That's odd, isn't it? I suppose some women do moan when they have twins, do you think? Well, I suppose they do, but you say you and Mary have just had twins. Oh, terrific. That surely must be another first for Channel 4. Anyway, that puts uh, Maureen uh, with 11 points and Michael at 18 points as we now go into our fourth round of Countdown, which we call our numbers game. We now look at the mental arithmetic ability of our contestants. Now, in front of Beverly Isherwood over there, you'll see four rows. On those rows are face downwards rows of numbers. High numbers on that top row, they are 25, 50, 75 and 100. And uh, below... Uh, numbers just 1 to 10. We also have a device called Cecil, and Cecil is Countdown's electronic calculator in Leeds. Let's give it a whirl. That's a sort of number generator. Entirely at random, it just stops anywhere. So what I'm going to uh, ask the contestants to do is choose some numbers, and then when we see those, they have to uh, achieve that target number using the simple rules of uh, arithmetic. That's uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. So you get the idea when we uh, start it. So uh, let's show, show, them, show them how it's done, uh, Michael. Would you now choose uh, your six numbers? One from the top line, please. One from the second line, and two from each of the other two rows. So Beverly will put them up, and we'll have a look, see what we've got there. We've got two, three, seven, ten, nine, and 25. And now, Beverly, let's see what Cecil says. And he says 844, and now using uh, all or any, but not the same one twice, you have to achieve that target. Starting from now, 30 seconds. Right, 844 was the target. Uh, Michael, what did you get? 815. 815. And Maureen? 831, if I've done it right. 831. Well, let's mm. hope you have done it right, because you are the nearer. So what we'll ask you to do now is uh, tell our vital statistician, uh, Linda Barrett, Dr Linda Barrett, in fact, how it's done. We should say that on Countdown we have two vital statisticians. They're going to alternate, because actually it is quite a hard job for them, because they also have only the 30 seconds that the contestants have to work it out. So, uh, Dr Barrett... Let's take Maureen through it. Maureen, how did you do it? 10 threes are 30 times 25, 750. Just hang on a sec, just take it a bit slow. 
Do it just two numbers at a time, please. Ten times three, thirty. Ten times three equals thirty. Multiply that by twenty-five. By twenty-five equals. Could you give the answer? To yes. Me? What does that make? That's seven fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. Then. I think I've made a mistake. Oh dear. <laughs> so tell us what you think you tell us what you think you did. Seven plus two is nine multiplied by nine. Seven plus two equals nine. By nine yes. equals eighty one. Eighty one. And add that to the seven fifty. To give eight thirty one. Eight three one. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Linda? Yes, that's correct. But I got uh, 845, I was just one out. Um, I took uh, 9 times 3 plus 7, and that gave me 34. I multiplied that by the 25, and that gives 850. And then I divided the 10 by the 2, to give five and subtracted to give eight, four, five. <laughs> See? You just, you just try harder next time, Linda. You make sure you get it right. But that's not bad, is it, really? No. That's not bad. OK, and that's uh, quite good for you, Maureen, because you were the nearer of the two, uh, so we give you five points. So that brings you very nicely within striking range of Michael because you now have, uh, now have 16 points and Michael has 18. As we go into the break, we will not go into the break without hearing a wise word from Mr Ted Moats. Oh, thank you. Uh, did you, and I'm sure you did, know the term fall guy, which means somebody who's unfairly put on or disadvantaged. I wonder if you knew the origin of the phrase. Well, it comes from the world of wrestling, where one of the contestants would pretend to lose by taking a fall, probably to the despicable advantage of somebody who'd back the other one to win. How disgusting. So a fall guy was a chap who took a fall when he shouldn't have taken a fall. That was a fall guy. Have you ever been a fall guy? Have I been a fall guy? Are there a lot of people who think I'm a fall guy, and who knows? There might be a few watching who think I am still. Anyway, that's it. We'll go into the break. If you have any inf bits of information you think Ted might like to know, or any questions, or any points, or anything you think uh, you'd like to tell us, uh, write to us here at Countdown at Yorkshire Television. OK, break time now. See you afterwards. And welcome back to Countdown, the quiz game, which is to word games what Sir Michael Foote and Patrick Moore are to the tailor and cutter. Well, as you join us for part two, uh, Michael Goldman is just in the lead. He's got 18 points and Maureen Barr has got 16 points. It's Michael, your turn to start. Nine letters, please. Vowel. We start with an E. Consonant. T. Vowel. Another E. Consonant. And a G. Vowel. I. Consonant. S. Consonant. N. Vowel. O. Vowel. And your last one is an E. So, nine in the frame, countdown is the name of the game, and the countdown starts now. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, Michael, how many letters? Eight. Eight. Good man. Six. You got six. What's this eight letter word going to be? Egestion. Egestion. You better spell that out for us. Can you just spell it out for us? E G E S T I O N. And what in your opinion does that mean? Intaking food or liquid or information. Yes, that seems to be a lot of sense, or, Ted. What would you say? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard, I've heard of ingestion uh, and. Uh, Oh, and he got a signet with a, with a ring. I suppose egestion is uh, what we're doing today, isn't it? And uh, 
As you said, Michael, it is a word. It is a word. <laughs> it certainly is a word. Well done. That's a, that's a good word. Then that very is good, uh, very good. eight points to you. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, and now, Maureen, don't be downhearted. You're still on 16 points, and you choose the letters. Consonant. N. Consonant. T. Vowel. I. Vowel. E. Consonant. S. Consonant. S. Vowel. U. Consonant. R. Consonant. And M. And that completes the nine, and the time is 30 seconds, starting now. How many letters? Seven. You've got seven, good. And Michael? Seven. You've got both got seven. Let's hear them both. Uniters. Unite. Ters. Uniters. People who Unite. do the uniting. Uniters, all right? Mustier. Mustier. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll accept both of those. Uniters and mustiers, which uh, gives you another seven each for that. So now we then move on to our uh, letters game. This is the last letters game, uh, as far as you're concerned. Uh, now, uh, Michael, will you please pick your letters? Vowel. I. Consonant. D. Vowel. O. Consonant. Z. Vowel. A. Consonant. C. Vowel. O. Vowel. E. Consonant. And L. Right, eyes down, because the countdown starts now. Managed to get zoo. How about you? Um, anyway, <laughs> Michael. Eight. Eight. Five. Five. Maestro. Coalized. C O A L I Z E D. It's spelt with an S or a Z, I hope. <laughs> I bet, yes. I bet you yes. know, we, we will yes. have to look that up. We'll uh, have a little coalescent period. Yes, I, did, I got uh, docile and zoo. Um, incidentally, have you ever heard the word rain check? We take a rain check. Did you know that came from going to a baseball match in North America? When it rains, you get your money back. So you have a rain check for another day. Good, isn't it? Uh, Irrelevant, but uh, we got the word yet, Mary. <laughs> Coalesce. I think we'll give it to him. But we'll just better wait. Well, we just make... better make sure on this one. Yeah, Coal well, I just said I think. I'm, uh, Does it mean making to coal? Yes. Garney, give him the point. Give him the marks. Yes. Give well, him the marks. Wonderful. Eight points. Very good. Eight points for eight points for Coalize. Yes. <laughs> and now our final numbers game. You know the rules of the numbers game. Uh, will you pick your six numbers, Mary? Um, Maureen. One from the top line. Two from the next. Two from the middle, and two from the bottom. One from the bottom. OK, so Maureen's picked her numbers there, and we have a ten, and a one, and a three, and a seven, and a five, and a hundred. And now let's ask Cecil to think of a number. And it's six, four, one, and we have 30 seconds, and those are starting right now.
641 was what Cecil said. And let us ask Maureen how she did. 647. 647. Well, that's not bad. That's within six. And Michael? 631. 631. OK, you're in with a chance here, Maureen. 647, let's check if yours is correct. Here's Dr yes. Barrett of Wimpel Street. 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1. Multiplied by 100. By 100. 600. Of course. 600. 5 times 10. 5 times 10. Is 50. Equals... 50. That's 650. Minus 3. Minus 3 equals... 647. 647. You are the nearer, uh, so you, in fact, do get five points, uh, Maureen, which puts you on 28 points, and Michael on 41 as we go into the very last round. Now, this is, again, slightly different. We now call this the countdown conundrum. What we've done, we've uh, got a nine-letter word, but we've jumbled all the letters up. Now, it only makes one nine-letter word, and we're asking the contestants to play this off uh, against the clock, i.e. whoever gets the uh, completed word first is the winner, and there are ten points at stake for this. So let's now ask Cathy uh, to reveal the jumbled-up letters, and when we do, we'll start the clock. There are the letters, and the clock's starting now. On the buzzer there. Thornia. Thornia. No, I'm, I'm afraid uh, Thornia is wrong. In, in fact, in fact, that's only uh, that's only eight letters, and you've got to use all nine. You've left out. I think you've left out another I. So and we're just on time there. So let's just uh, ask uh, Kathy to reveal what it is. Mm. There, inheritor. <laughs> we all knew that, didn't we? Inheritor. Well, never mind. Uh, that still puts you in the lead, Michael. Uh, Michael Goldman, you've won 41 points to uh, Maureen Barr's 28 points. Congratulations. <laughs> so, uh, so, two countdowns gone and two wins on the trot for Michael Goldman. Ted, final word. Well, it's amazing what we inherited from the past. For instance, I hope you agree that Michael's earned his salt. Do you know how that comes from? Well, the Roman word for salt is sal, and they got salt as part of their pay, which gave rise to the word salary, which what we we'll hopefully all get. Well, let's hope uh, they do get it. In <laughs> fact, uh, Michael uh, will get to come back tomorrow, if he can, to play the game. And uh, Maureen here gets to take uh, our countdown box game home to play with your family. So thank you very much indeed. From all of us here in the studio, especially our, our winner tonight, Michael uh, Goldman. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.